Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2 in our Valkyrie playthrough where we only deploy female soldiers. This is our current squad. I'm gonna go over them in detail. So let's check out Beatrice first. So we know Beatrice from the first episode. Beatrice Vega is our grenadier, and she has the launch grenade ability. I'm also gonna change her loadout a bit to change that secondary grenade with a flashbang. So flashbangs do not do damage, but disorient and disrupts enemies in a large radius. And friendly squad members will not be affected because we're going to shout Close your eyes or something like that. Next up, we have Sarah Klein. She's a German rookie. And uh, yeah, we're going to see how she's going to do. So 65 aim and a 50 will stat. That's not too bad, but I guess we can do better later on. So uh, good luck, Sarah. Then we have our Italian rookie, Alessia Sella. Uh, also pretty good aim, but uh, the will is a bit less. But we'll see how she does as well. And last but not least, we have our French rookie, Jacqueline Morel. Uh, also 65 aim and a very bad will, sadly. So uh, we'll see how she will perform in our next mission. So without further ado, everybody has grenades. And Beatrice has the extra flashbang. Here we go. So moving up with the Sky Ranger and flying off towards our next objective. Here we go, Operation Shackle Druid is a go in Egypt. Oh wow, is this a sewer? This looks cool. Okay. This is a map I've never played before. Interesting. Uh, so I'm gonna keep the Grenadier as last. So let's put Alessia, our Italian, at the door. Then Jacqueline as well. And start moving into this building. I might actually move somebody over to the side. Like this. And then our Grenadier over here on the corner. Shouldn't probably do that just yet. I'm going to move one space away from the corner. Hopefully not trading anything. And let's put everybody on Overwatch. So there's definitely alien activity. But since we start in concealment, we might actually... I think I heard something on the right. I think there must be over here. But let's open up the door. First. So I think I can do that. There we go. Open up the door. Doesn't seem like there's anybody in this room. Which means that next up, before we do anything else, let's put Sarah into the building. There we go. Seems quiet for now. Beatrice. Mm, I don't. I'm going to move Beatrice inside of the building as well. So let's slowly move up, and I'll see you guys when, I when anything happens. Oh, there we go. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first we have a sectoid moving in with an officer. Now human I think that was a normal trooper, not an officer. Than ever, an oh, fuck me. Okay, so I think... Yeah, they're over here. So that means I should probably... I'm going to move further with the Grenadier over here. And then Sarah, I think, has a pretty good position already. But I don't want to trigger anything else. This should not trigger sight. So if I put her here, she's already a bit closer. Yeah, there we go. And then put everybody on Overwatch. And I think that's going to trigger them, right? Isn't that trooper going to see anything? No? Oh, are you serious? She's literally in line of sight. Look at this. She's she's straight in their line of sight. Sarah is definitely in line of sight. Why didn't that trigger? Um, I need to be careful now. Because if I... Yeah, the other ones are also coming closer. Why would I trigger... Oh yeah, just because there's an opening over here. So that would trigger them. Okay. Now I think I'm going to move... 
Beatrice to over here. Moving out. There we go. And then everybody else goes into Overwatch again, I think. Yeah, I just want to see if I can trigger them. Aren't they seeing her? Oh, this is going to be... <gasps> The other ones just moved in. Don't they see her? Oh my god, she's just out of sight. I think that's... That was the other sectoid, right? Ooh, this is going to be annoying. Um, move up. Yeah, move up. I don't think they can see inside the building just yet. I'm going to have to put Beatrice... Keep Beatrice over there. Um... So Alessia over here. Jacqueline is in trouble though. I don't would this count as sight? Uh let's just put Sarah over here. Staying a bit further away. Because yeah, I think that corner might have been sight if I would have moved. I'm not gonna move Beatrice. Beatrice is just in trouble there. Um, and then Jacqueline over here to get a better position. Yeah, okay. That's it. That's it. I'm just going to put everybody on Overwatch. She's going to get spotted right now, I think. Ooh, okay. Okay. That's going to be interesting. No? Well, they're going to trigger next turn. There we go. Let's put everybody on Overwatch. And now they're going to trigger. Yeah, there we go. That's one tree damage shot on the trooper. Spotted flanked enemy. Oh god. Wait, that means... Oh, I forgot about that. I think in XCOM 2 they get a free shot on flanked enemies. But Grenadier Overwatch shot. That's... Did they kill... Did she kill him? Holy crap. The sectoid is down. And that trooper just got himself into a lot of trouble. I don't think they get a shot right now. Because I think it was a sectoid that saw the spotted enemy. Um, how are you not... How are you not flanking him? Um, let's put Sarah over here. Sarah can get a kill here. So flank shot on the trooper in the back. There we go. He's going to need spine surgery after that. Ooh. Damn. Damn. There we go. Sarah has been promoted. Beatrice just did 6 damage on her Overwatch shot. That was great. I'm actually going to burst through the window now. Because this makes noise. Okay. She, she, she didn't actually trigger that. Uh, I'm going to reload Beatrice. There we go. And then I think Alessia needs to go to the pillar. No, I can't get her to the pillar. So let's put her over here. Please don't trigger anything. We know they're over there somewhere. They're over here somewhere in the train yard. Um, so I'm just going to move everybody closer. Why is this half cover all of a sudden? I, um, I don't know what the logic of this game is sometimes. But uh, let's put it over there. And then everybody else who hasn't shot yet into Overwatch. Oh. We're picking up an inbound advent transport. The aliens are going to try and extract the general from the AO. Don't let him get on board that ship. Okay, so this is a new mission type that I haven't played yet. This is interesting. Oh god. Another trooper and probably the sector is moving in. And I only have one Overwatch shot here. Oh, and he's going up tall. Okay. So my Overwatch shots haven't triggered. She is flanked. Um, But the trooper is on elevation. So that should be an issue for him, I think. I'm going to keep my grenade, grenadier for later, I think. So let's just... Try to move a bit closer. So Alessia over there. And then she can throw a grenade. On top of... 
Can I get both the floor of the... No. Yeah, I need to expose the uh, sectoid over here. So let's just blow that wide open. I don't know if that's going to kill the floor underneath the... Oh, that's four damage at least. Probably isn't, but now the sectoid is wide open. I can kill the advent trooper with one more uh, grenade. So let's move Sarah over as well. So I could, in, at the very least, kill the trooper with the grenade. Oh, fuck, she doesn't have a, a shot on the sectoid. She's blocked by the pillar. Okay. Do we have a shot from over here? No. No, she does not. So the sectoid is pretty much... He's completely blocked by that pillar. Oh, wait a second. Jacqueline can move over here. And that should get her a shot on the sectoid. Let's try this. And that's a complete miss. Okay. Never mind. Uh, got a 50% shot at the advent trooper there. Let's try Beatrice first. Her aim should be a bit better. Um, or I use the flashbang. I think we're going to use the flashbang at the last batch. So let's try Beatrice. Come on. I think that was a hit. There we go. He's down. So now, uh, I still have the sector to deal with. He's going to have to move. So I'm going to just put Sarah into Overwatch. This might actually hurt. There we go. Overwatch shot on the sector. And he's down. Yes, Sarah. That was great. Okay, but now we need to move. Because we're going to have to take out those... Um, those other guys. Those other guys. The officer. So three turns until the transport is here. And we're still quite a ways off. So we're going to have to push. So I'm moving up really aggressively here. Which is not something I usually do. But I don't think we have a choice in the matter at the moment. Um... So yeah, even Alessia is going to have to move up. Roger. Please don't trigger him on the last... Oh, fuck. There he is. Target identity confirmed. That's the general. Take him out before they can escape. We won't get... So that was my last move. So here he goes. Holy crap, he looks cool. He's, he is alone, though. But he might get a shot at... Is he going to shoot at... No, he's trying to get away. That was an overwatch. Oh, crap. So he's over here, and he definitely went into overwatch. Uh, some move. Can I get up top here? Yeah, through the inside of the building. Um, let's put it at the corner. That should not trigger overwatch. Maybe gets a sight. There we go. 37, the advent general. I think, since we know where he is... Let's launch a flashbang at him. So that disorients him completely. We have two turns. So if he's disoriented for the rest of the match, that should be nice, right? He has a lot of health, by the way. Holy shit nozzles. Overwatch removed. Okay, so that's also great. Which means that I can really aggressively move up. Uh, so Sarah. Sarah, our wonder child. Our German wonder child. Let's put you over here into full cover. Because I think that's actually a flank shot as well. Yeah, there we go. Flank shot. But you could also use your grenade. The grenade is going to be better, right? Yeah, because I can remove his cover completely there. And that's a guaranteed hit. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be the last enemy here. That's even the full four damage. Disoriented and his armor gone. That's up to 57 now for Alessia. So let's take the shot. And that's a full-blown miss. We only have Jacqueline left. Jacqueline can actually go over here at the corner. And I think that should give her a shot still. Yeah, there we go. Another 56. Let's do that as well. And that is a hit with a critical 6 damage. I think that's too short. Yeah, he still has 2 health left. But he's still disoriented, I think. Yeah, so he moves to the side. And onto Overwatch again. Um, do we have a grenade still? Yeah, Jacqueline has a grenade. But that Overwatch is concerning. Because if he hits... We're in trouble. And he's just behind the corner there. I think Beatrice should take that, right? 
So if I let Beatrice dash... Do I dash? I think I'm going to let her dash. Because if anything, she's going to be in a prime position to take over uh, after that. She has extra defense if she dashes. Oh god, this is going to hurt. Come on, Beatrice. Come on, Beatrice. Come on, Beatrice. Come on, Beatrice. So that's an overwatch shot. That missed. Okay. Whew. I know he's still disoriented, but still, that could have uh, ended really, really badly there. Jacqueline. Over here in the full cover. And then just toss the grenade. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, shit. Excuse me. I thought he was going to be the last one. I didn't count on there being any other dudes. Oh, this is bad because I don't have any good positions here either. Okay, let's try this. Sarah, you've been really good with, with your shots lately. Can you move closer? And that's a flank shot on the Advent General. Can you kill him with that? Oh, thank God. Okay. That's good. But you're out of ammo. Five kill confirmed. That's how it's done. We need to clear the area of any remaining hostiles. We can't allow them to recover the general's body. So now we need to kill everybody. And I don't know where the the general uh, the officer is. I'm just gonna move it. Come on. I saw it. I saw it. There we go. There, right on that corner. If this doesn't kill that trooper. I will have a shot with um, our last Alessia, I think her name is, on the side there. So, grenade. That opens things up a bit. Did I kill that one? Is he gone? Hello? Oh, cold. I think he's... Is he dead? I think he is, right? Oh, and there's the, there's the officer. Uh, I'm going to have to move to the side here. And try and get a shot from here. So let's put Alessia up top here. Because I don't think she'll have a shot in any capacity. No, she's definitely not going to have a shot. So let's put Alessia upstairs over here in the corner. And I think that's her last move. Ooh. Is an officer going to take another one of our soldiers? <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. Oh, gold. So he's marking Beatrice. Don't kill Beatrice. Don't kill Be Beatrice. Oh, Ooh, okay. Tree damage. That's fine. She has... No, he survived. Wait, why didn't the game show me this? He's going to kill Beatrice. Fuck. Okay. That was bullshit. If I would have known that guy was still alive, I would have killed him with Alessia. Oh, that is... Come on. Ooh, okay. Refocus. Refocus. We're not done yet. So let's move. Alessia right next to the trooper over here. God damn it, Beatrice. And kill that asshole. And then Alessia gets an extra ability point from a flank shot. Oh, this is not over yet. This is definitely not over yet. Might actually have to... Ooh. Damn, there's no good positions here. Okay, let's put Jacqueline back down over here. Let's dash her out of the way. Into a blind wall. Now, what's the officer going to do? I think he can't... How the hell do you have... What? How the hell did you have line of sight there? We lost two of them now. That was bullshit. That he had a line of sight. Because he's over there. So, with Alessia bleeding out, and two soldiers left, ooh, this is gonna hurt. I don't even think I have a good position to take him out. Are you serious? The AI is way too smart for this. <laughs> oh, and I'm out of bullets because of the overwatch shot. And that ends my turn, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Okay, 41% shot, here we go. That was a hit. Okay. Then I think I have nothing else to do than to put Sarah into a precarious position. <laughs> I don't even... 
I don't think I even have a shot. If I go over here, do I just have a shot? I don't have a shot. Are you freaking serious? Oh, Overwatch. It's oh my god, she hits him. We have confirmation. <laughs> oh no. Definitely not mission accomplished. That was horrible. That was horrible. How are we ever going to do this? We lost another soldier. We lost our only leveled up soldier that was still good. But I think we did get two in return for that. So, so silver linings, I suppose. The Advent Administration again reminds you that the recent assassination of an Advent civilian worker by the criminal organization known as XCOM is no cause for alarm. Advent peacekeepers have already moved... Shut up, propaganda announcer! Oh, wow, the ultimate fire team. There's only two people left standing. Uh, I think we did just manage to rescue Jacqueline there. Um... Wow, that was bad. Jacqueline made most attacks and Beatrice was most under fire because she, yeah, she got fired upon twice and then died. But I'm sorry, did you see that? I'm having the worst luck ever. So first off, that trooper was not dead. Oh, we lost our Grenadier, but we get three promotions in return. And she's gravely wounded, but apparently only for seven days while she was bleeding out. And the other two were down for 17 days. It's a bit weird, but... I'm sorry, Beatrice. Immortal in our hearts. There we go. Look at that. That's just perfect, isn't it? I'm sorry, Beatrice. But we do get a few new soldiers in return for that. So this, hopefully her sacrifice was worth it. So Sarah Operating some of our is our first old specialist. Specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. And there we go. I, I think I kind of know what our problem is. Our soldiers are not wearing pants at the moment. Um, so 8 protocol command your gremlin to move to a friendly target that grants that target a bonus to defense until the start of the next player turn. So there we go, 8 protocol which is a pretty useless first ability but hacking is more important there. Uh, she has a 50 hack stat which is not amazing but at least it's something. Then, Alessia, Alessia, what are you becoming? Our next sharpshooter, okay, so Alessia Sella turns into a sharpshooter. Great. And then hopefully Morel turns into... I'm hoping she's turning into a grenadier. A grenadier. That's exactly what we needed. Okay. Okay. I still believe in this. We just have, I think, seven soldiers left in total. Uh, since we're not going to use the, the men. But uh, there we go. And we did get a repeater. Because we did get the loot. Because that was the last time we... we Got that. A 5% chance to instantly kill your target when you hit them, regardless of the target's remaining HP. Great. But then, two sectoids, three troopers, and two advent officer corpses. Holy crap, I didn't even get the... Oh, that is technically an officer as well. Okay. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. 
Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Thank you, Cancel. Thank you very much. New objective added. So contact the resistance in the black site region. So we need to fly there and make contact. Hello, I'm keeping tabs Commander. on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. So we did complete Operation Shackled through it with one loss, but we do get an engineer in a return, which is great. So Commander, word of your recent success in East Africa is already spreading throughout the resistance. The people of Earth are indebted to you, to your crew for their sacrifices. Rest in peace, Beatrice. Whether they realize it yet or not, hopefully the accompanying allotment of resources will help strengthen your future efforts. So we can go down left or right. And if you go into this a bit further, we can see that we get supplies based on the room that we actually clear out, I think. So we have two exposed power coils, but they're pretty low. So I should probably go down as quickly as possible. So let's clear out the alien machinery over here first. So that takes 20 days. There we go. So clearing alien machinery out of the way, but it does get us a lot of supplies and a lot of alloys. We did get a few more supplies from the map before. And next time I'm going to have to remember... Ooh, still three wounded. How long are they still wounded? So eight, eleven and seven days. But we do get a few upgrades here already. is isn't bad considering, but sometimes I do miss that damn sweater. Oh, Bradford, you look fine in your uniform as well. And we're going to get our soldiers a, a few nicer duds as well. I'm also wondering, I don't have enough soldiers again for the next mission if I get one within seven days. So I'm going to recruit another one. And Tatiana looks actually really, really badass. She looks a bit like Sarah Connor from Terminator. So uh, Tatiana Sidorova from Ukraine. So let's recruit her as well. There we go. So remember, you can still submit your soldiers if you want me to customize anybody to your liking, to your idea of a character. Let me know in the comment section down below. But with that done, we have research going. We have uh, stuff going over here. Once we clear out the alien machinery, I could get another engineer, right? Let's do that. I think I can get another engineer from Commander, the supplies here. We have a lead on the alien black site, but we'll have to rely on the local resistance to actually get us into the facility. We should try to make contact with their forces in the region as soon as possible. It's the only way we're going to find out what's behind this so-called Avatar project. So that is important, definitely, and we need to make contact with that uh, area. But we do either get supplies or an engineer. I don't think we can actually make contact just yet, right? I could fly over there, but that's not going to help me much. So let's go to the engineer first. Avenger, I want to have that engineer. Course. If I have that engineer, then I have uh, another one to excavate at the same time as our first one actually does. So let's try and boost that a bit further. Come on, come on. The results of our breakthrough were quite fascinating. So that's the training center construction, which is going to help us get that cleaner. So 50% reduction in the cost of building the training center. And we still need to do that, definitely. So resistance communications is next and is very important. Now we need to get resistance communications up as, as quickly as possible. So let's do resistance communications next. And then to the bridge, we need to continue uh, fetching our engineer. Please, 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 one more day. Yes, yes, Zoe King and it's even a, a female engineer. There we go. Great, Zoe, rookies, I need rookies. I definitely need rookies. Let's not investigate that just yet. I'm gonna go back just a bit because I need to do some excavating. Excavating, excavating. 23, 26, definitely 26. So let's put Zoe in there and excavate that. That only takes five days, so that's gonna be great. Oh, we can actually build a facility off of fuck's sake. So that only, that's the training center. Um, the training center allows soldiers to establish stronger bonds with their fellow soldiers and purchase additional tactical abilities. Oh, so that's not the guerrilla tactics school. I'm going to wait until we've excavated the one on the right and then we're going to start building facilities. Okay, let's do the bridge and see. Do we want to go for rookies or for the supplies? Because 
The funny thing is, I can of course buy rookies with supplies. So I don't think... Yeah, let's get to the stadium Avengers over there. And get those supplies instead of the rookies. Because I can quickly get more rookies if I want to, if I have the supplies. Alessia has recovered from her wounds, that's great. Too trusting, John. The skirmishers are Advent. Advent is the enemy. And this is War of the Chosen, the I suppose. Enemy is food. Try not to bring that up when we meet, Volk. You take their side after all we've seen these years. Look, I'm not exactly having drinks with them, but they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? Wait and see. Volk out. Actually, think they might show up. Commander, that was Konstantin Volokov, Volk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. Volk may be a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. Heads one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they'd make one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. Volk's Reapers may have found you, but they weren't acting alone. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big on working with these guys, knowing where they came from. But you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities provided you serve as the go-between. Trust doesn't come easy between these two, so we're heading for a nice quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. This sounds like a big mission. on this area is weak and we're picking up strange chatter on comms. Not to mention we're ending a decade-long blood feud today. I'd advise our soldiers to be fully prepared before we deploy on this one, Commander. Good luck. Fully prepared? We're still playing with rookies. If you've got the time, we have a little bit of a situation here that could benefit from your help. But I feel like this needs to be... Not sure how long our contacts are going to wait for us, Commander. So I'd recommend we proceed as soon as possible. All available soldiers are standing by to deploy. And why did you say we had time that we need to prepare? God damn it, Bradford. So Grim Stalkers, Operation Lost and Abandoned, Rendezvous with the Reapers. We get a scientist and 78 intel. That is great. So let's do that. It's going to hurt, isn't it? This is definitely going to hurt. I'm so going to die. Well, somebody's going to die. It's not going to be me, but... Each faction oh, has agreed to allow a two-person squad to what? escort them to the rendezvous point. Hopefully that should be enough to keep them from killing each other. We've got a temporary ceasefire in place for the duration of the meet, but still, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be ready for anything. What? Two soldiers! Oh, crap. Um, well then, I think I'm going to remove Alessia then in favor of a Grenadier. So Jacqueline, Jacqueline, you're going with us. Can I actually get you that flashbang or is that gone forever? No, it's not. There we go. So this is going to be the team. So Jacqueline and Sarah are going to go on this mission. I'm hesitating whether I should get... Should I get another med kit let's build items i think i should probably just get a med kit there we go let's get one med kit and get sarah that uh, med kit right over here so heal up to four hp does not affect robotic allies and also dress them up a bit better so that should be fine it still says difficulty easy but that last mission was definitely not easy but before we head into Operation Lost and Abandoned, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of XCOM 2. And uh, see you guys next time in XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. Goodbye.